All right, uh, Nathan here, back with another science demonstration. Today, what I have is some iron oxide mixed with water. Here, I'm gonna mix that up. Oops, I got some on me. All right. Uh, basically, how I've made this, I just have some iron over here sitting in water. Add a little more. Quite a bit in there. All right. Now I have a little magnet here, and you'll see that this stuff is actually pretty neat. It is attracted to the magnet. You can see. Oops. Let me demonstrate that again. You can see it being attracted to it, almost like some kind of ferrofluid or something. Now there's a large glob of it on our magnet. Kind of let that dry out there. Kind of making a mess. very interesting though. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a stronger magnet. Alright, I have this magnet here which is quite a bit larger. Let's see the effects of this. Looks like it's mostly settled to the bottom. Might be kind of hard to tell, but you can see it moving the iron oxide around because it is attracted to the magnet Oop, we've stuck to it if we dip this in here we'll see a quite interesting reaction actually it causes the oxides in the thing to rapidly adhere to it or be attracted to it more accurately sorry for my bad camera work there's quite a bit of it stuck to this now kinda dry it off Quite slimy now. Looks like the oxides that are left now are more red. Pour some more of this in there. You can see after setting it on top all the black ones were pulled to the bottom quite interesting now we are stuck so Oops. see if we can see them being pulled back to the top They're actually jumping onto it. This is kind of turning into a mess, actually. Alright, I'll watch this. But the fluid you can see is lopsided because it's trying to stick to it. Watch what happens when I bring the magnet close. It actually jumps out of it in a thin stream. to stick to it and now it's just coated in oxides that is really bizarre <laughs> 